even though his degree was in mathematics, his heart and love was in computer science, which was not a discipline in the late 60s, early 70s. So what's interesting about that is that he was a pioneer in that field before it was even started. <laughs> Those of us who know him know that he's done a lot of fantastic stuff that nobody else can do. In 1965, I.D. Peters, who at one time was our chairman, he said, Henry, look at this stuff that's come in from Clarksburg from a boy named Addison Fisher from Washington Irving High School. It's a big paper he'd written called Extensions of Calculus. What Addison had done was to work a very higher powered study of mathematics going far beyond what's in a calculus book. He discovered the Cauchy Integral Theorem, Riemann surfaces, things like this that were known hundreds of years ago, but he didn't know that it had already been done. So he's a genius, and then he began to extend this stuff. He's a brilliant mathematician, but the computer center was what fascinated him. He started to build up software. He built up a computer program that would save the university up to 15%, I think, in his daily computer operations. All this fantastic stuff he was doing in the computer center. He offered it to the university for, for $10,000, and the university wouldn't buy it. So he, he left the university, graduated, went to Ohio with another student from WVU, they incorporated themselves and sold $80,000 in a couple of weeks. Addison thought his career was gonna be as a, a professor of mathematics. I know he would have made an excellent mathematics professor, uh, very thoughtful, insightful, as well as a researcher, but he uh, got involved in the licensing of technology to IBM, and it took him in a different way in his career. So it's hard for us to think nowadays life without a computer in some way. But if you go back 40 years, in the late 60s, early 70s, computers were held by big mainframes, IBM. And as a student, uh, Addison was, was a forerunner. It's interesting if you think about technology transfer and licensing that the university focuses on nowadays, he actually negotiated a license of his software. He uh, came back later and gave me a $10 bill for a book of mine. He wanted a book of mine. And then he said, I'm going to be a millionaire. Ten years later to the date, he walked in my office and said, I did it. I said, what'd you do, Addison? He said, I sold all my computer software I've developed to this point for $16 million and retired. He saw opportunities that developed from his early experience with IBM in, in the encryption technology field. So that was a natural niche that he developed after he got out of school in a series of companies that he was involved in. He, in 95 or 98, I think, would form VeriSign. So every time you're online and I make a purchase, I look at the little bottom to make sure that VeriSign is there. It gives you a certain amount of confidence and it's recognized worldwide as a technology leader there. And it's wonderful to know that a W alumni has done that. His work is so important because he simplifies how you do things. He's one of the best people I know at doing this. And so his work has major implications for the, he testified before Congress on computer, computer security. He's now a member of a retired uh, cryptographic specialist. Uh, having worked myself with the government, I know how important this work is. His work is well known and always in the advertisement from his company, he mentions that he's a West Virginia graduate. He is Princeton and MIT's loss, he's our gain, the fact that he came here. And he's very unassuming, but he's very serious minded and he's very focused. He's very uh, involved in the environmental issue and destruction of uh, native virgin grounds uh, throughout the world. So he's involved in uh, s uh, social causes like that and takes it very, very seriously. He built a school in Naples, Florida for children. Uh, he, he gave major money to preserve the uh, rainforest in the Amazon. He bought a ranch in Costa Rica. He made me think a lot. So we did not teach him anything. He taught us. He taught the professors. He knew more than the teachers because he'd already studied this stuff in his own mind. Uh, we uh, promoted him for an uh, honorary degree two years ago, and we had him back to speak to students and faculty then. And um, it's, it's, it's very impact. If you sit in the audience and watch our students and you see how somebody talks about their career here as a student and their early career in the profession and how they've risen to where they are, the success they've had, you could just see the students' eyes opening. So I think he's one of the greatest graduates we've ever had at W. And we're just we're lucky that we, we, if it hadn't been for that computer job at $50 a week, he would not have achieved what he did. It's amazing. <laughs>